Okay, we're going to do a short video tutorial on how to burn movie files off your computer, off your hard drive, onto DVDs, onto blank DVDs. Um, you know, number one, you need to make sure you have a DVD burner on your computer, um, of course. Um, so we're going to try doing a couple different programs. One program that's for free, that's available online, it's totally free, freeware, adware, you know, no adware, I mean. Um, it's free of everything and you know pretty okay it's not the best thing in the world but it's called DVD flick you're gonna go ahead and google it so you can download it it's right here go ahead and click on it um, you're gonna click on download and there it is download DVD flick you're gonna go ahead and download this um, first it's gonna ask you if you want to save it go ahead and save the file I'm not gonna do this because I already have it on here so I'm just gonna cancel off of this um, it's you're gonna download it you're gonna install it and it's going to have a little icon on your desktop. You're going to go ahead and open that little icon up and it will look something like this. This is DVD Flick. Oops. This is DVD Flick. You're going to go ahead and um, add some titles on here. So you're going to go ahead and click on Add Title. Um, but the movie I want to download or I mean actually burn is not on here. So I can go ahead and drag and drop it. So I'm going to X out of there. I am going to go to my videos and see that's the movie I want to down uh, burn is Garfield 2 so I'm going to go ahead and it, it is a DVX media format um, I'm going to go ahead and how long am I? I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it so there we go X out of here there's the movie so I'm going to burn you're going to go next to um, project settings um, first of all, you want to make sure you have a blank DVD into your burner. Um, go to Project Settings. Um, here's, you know, just go through the tabs, make sure everything's fine. This is the format that you want. You know, if you want PAL, depending on your, on your, um, you know, if you have a VCD player, or DVD player, whatever. Um, I leave that the way it is. Burning. Um, usually, when you op first open it up, when I first open it up, I mean, I'm not sure if they changed this now. This is the way it looks. It'll have this checked and this unchecked uncheck create ISO image and check burn project to disk you know make sure that that is checked otherwise what you're doing is going to be you know wasteless uh, make sure it's burning to the drive that you want um, if you have more than one you know drive one burner drive and I just leave those the way it is that's fine go ahead and go to accept and of course create DVD make sure you want to proceed yes Destination for or I don't know why they showed this, but I would go ahead and click yes. And this is what it looks like when it's going to be um, burning. It's going to burn like this. Um, it'll convert and burn at the same time. It's pretty cool. I like it. Um, it doesn't always seem to work, and it does take forever. Some people really love it. Some people really hate it. But for me, it's okay. It, you know, it's not a big deal, considering that it's free. I mean, what do you guys expect? Um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because I don't want this close. Another cool program that I really love using, really, really like using, close, is, um, see, I'm empty, yes, um, is this one, Easy AVI DVX Export to DVD Burner. This I like. I really do like this program a lot. Um, it, I mean, it always seems to work with me. I don't know. Um, it did come out with a better version. Um, this one, Easy DVD Creator. This, I mean, this is not free. You're going to have to either buy it or do whatever you want to do to it. But there is a trial version. And the trial version will um, let you, you know, burn three DVDs. So let's go ahead and look for it. It is by Ether. DVD Creator. And that should be it. It'll convert and burn almost any video um, um, format, I think. I mean, it even does MOV and you know FLV and MPEG-4. It does a lot. It does cost about thirty-four ninety-five to um, to buy, or um, you can just go ahead and try it out for free. This, for me, I have not had one bad. Um, have not had one coaster so far with this. Um, I really do like this a lot. Um, if you want to go ahead and try it out, go ahead and click on free trial, um, save file, of course, whatever. You know, download it, install it, and let me show you how you can use it. 
this is the screen you'll get. You'll first get like a tip screen, whatever. I'm not sure where that went, but this is the screen you'll get. You want to go ahead, um, if you have a key, go ahead and enter the key right there. Um, but you will get to burn three movies first for free. Go ahead and click on add. You're going to do a little plus sign. Um, it'll take you to the different you know, movies. So I'm going to go ahead and open that one. It'll let you do up to three hours of um, film. Um, this is the widescreen, 16, you know, 9 decimal wide. This is just a normal, you know, typical screen. I like this better. And that's the format you want. Um, if you want it, if you want to burn it to a DVD, you're going to click on this one. This is to your hard drive, hard drive to DVD. I always just do this one. You're going to go ahead and click start. And this is what it's going to do. It's going to convert video files to VOB files, and it's going to burn it for you. I love this program to death. It always, always seems to work. And this one will actually take any format you have, so uh, it's cool. It'll also let you <laughs> play. Well, I shouldn't have clicked on that, but it'll also let you play right here. Um, that's pretty much it. I, you know, for me, I when I first had problems trying to burn DVDs, I was trying to burn them on DVD minus R's because that's what my other computer was burning on DVD minus R's, and it would not work on my new computer. I cannot burn. A DVD for the life of me. I don't know why. So I, you know, I just need a DVD plus R's. So if you've been trying to burn movies on, you know, one type of format, you know, minus R's or plus R's, go ahead and try the other. See what happens. It will probably work. Um, I really don't care for myself what brand to use. I always u seem to use uh, anything I find on sale. I don't buy really store brand because, this, you know, you can always find Philips or HP or whatever on sale. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter actually what brand you use because if you have a speck of dust on your blank DVD, it'll screw your burn and will not burn. You'll just get a coaster. So I mean, I I'm like one of those people who can care less. I mean, what um, brand of DV blank DVDs I'm using or CDs? Um, you know, I mean, when you buy them like for ten or eleven bucks for fifty, and you and you got a coaster for two cents, big deal. Go ahead and try burning it again. You're not going to get a successful burn every single time, but. Um, you know, you will get a few. I mean, as long as you're paying for these movies, please. Um, this will take about half an hour to finish. When it is done, it'll say uh, a successful burn. It does have four steps. Uh, it, you know, half an hour, so it's not that bad. I hope this was helpful. Um, and if I went too fast, I'm sorry. That's just the type of person I am. I go really fast. All right. Thanks a lot, and I hope you enjoyed this video.